Well, good morning, Situate. Um, today is August 9th, and for the town update, I want to just first uh, just go over a few uh, few meetings that are happening this week, and then I'm going to kick it over to our town administrator um, for a more thorough update. Uh, just so you know, uh, CPC is meeting tonight. It's a virtual meeting at 7 o'clock. We're going to be talking about things like uh, the Border Street uh, property, baseball field, and the Teak Sherman Garden. Uh, tomorrow, 4.30, traffic rules uh, and regulations, meeting at town hall at 4.30. Situate select board, also tomorrow, Tuesday, 6.30 in town hall. Wednesday at 7 o'clock, it's a Zoom meeting, but the uh, Commission on Disability will be meeting. And Thursday, 6.30, the planning board will be meeting at town hall. Uh, also, two other small updates. August 15th, just now that the Situate Art Association uh, will be having a member show at the library. Um, so definitely check that out. And also just for an update, uh, Route 228 in Hingham, uh, they sent, uh, the town of Hingham sent a note over for about the next two weeks or so, uh, there's gonna be lots of detours. They're doing some work on Route 228. So anyone traveling for work over there, just watch out for some delays uh, while you're traveling. So that's all I have for now. So Jim, over Thank to you. you. Happy Monday morning, everybody in Situate after a pretty nice weekend. Uh, let's start with always with our water update. The water construction is still going on in the utility road area. Uh, that is the installation of the services for the homes. The water main on Old Oak and Bucket is also still being installed as we speak. When that is done, the crews will move down to Border Street and install that water main um, while the service crews move up to Old Oak and Bucket. So Old Oak and Bucket is closed to traffic, through traffic, residents are allowed. Uh, so please, if you have to get through Old Oak and Bucket, uh, take a different route this time of year. Total demand for the last seven days was 1.455 million gallons, down very slightly from the 1.6 million gallons, uh, 1.646 million gallons of the previous week. So we're right around the 1.4, 1.5 million gallons, uh, down significantly from what we normally average, uh, a lot of that is due to the rain. So we had um, 6.75 inches over the reservoir right now. Uh, that's up from 1.25 the previous week. And we had 3.79 inches of rain in the last seven days. So the rain helps keep the water usage down, uh, but the manganese levels are going up in the reservoir from the hot weather. They will continue to increase over the next several days when it gets really hot. So you may see some discoloration in your water. Please report this colored water to us. Again, it's not just complaints, but those are data points to us so we can monitor what's going on. And a reminder to people that we do have our regular restrictions in place. Go to the town website under the water department to get the details on that. Uh, if you drive by the water treatment plant, you will see some new equipment down there. Uh, those, that is equipment to do pilot studies on our, for our new water treatment plant. What those do is they do different types of treatment on our water to determine what is the best treatment for our particular water for the new treatment plant. You'll see them there for the next couple of weeks and they'll go away and then they'll come back in the winter time to do the same pilot studies on cold water. And from those, we will design a new water treatment plant going forward. Uh, we had 18 new COVID cases in the last seven days. That's double the nine from the previous week. The state has not updated our color map, so I don't know what color we are right now, but our last seven day, 14 days positivity was 0.64. That's again, double from the previous week's 0.31. Uh, no doubt the COVID variant, the Delta variant is here. It is in situate. The vast majority of the new cases are the Delta variant. Um, this is a very, very contagious variant. We keep talking about that. It's more contagious than the chicken pox. Uh, the vaccine is working uh, in the cluster down in Providence. Uh, there were a lot of people who had been vaccinated that got COVID, but the vast majority of those were not hospitalized. Right now, according to the CDC, 97% of recent hospitalizations and 99% of recent deaths are among people who are unvaccinated. So uh, please, if you haven't been vaccinated, talk to your physician. If you are able to get vaccinated, we uh, urge you to do so. Uh, right now, we are not putting on mask mandates in situ. We will continue to discuss as the numbers go up. Uh, and I'm sure prior to the school, the superintendent will be back with us and will give us an update on what school's gonna look like going forward, starting in a couple of weeks. Can't believe I'm saying that school's gonna be starting in a couple of weeks. The summer is 
is coming to an end, but uh, unfortunately it is. The countryway sidewalk, we're done work there for right now until then grid comes in and moves some poles. Uh, when they move the poles, we're going to do a final coat on those parts of the sidewalk that aren't done. Once we finish that, the next work will be on designing the sidewalk on, excuse me, Stockbridge Road, going from the train station heading out. Uh, we have some preliminary designs on that, but we will need to do some final designs, to figure out where it's going to go, how it's going to go, but that work will be beginning and we'll apply for some state and federal money to try to get that sidewalk done. Uh, speaking of sidewalks, the work on First Parish is continuing. Uh, if you go up there, we round out First Parish from Country Way up past the common on both sides. The contractor will be in this week, weather dependent to put down a base coat on that stretch of roadway. Once the base coat comes down, the sidewalk from Country Way to the Senior Center will be reconstructed. We'll put in a granite curb, build a brand new sidewalk up there. Uh, and then we will construct a new crossing at the senior center across the street to the church and a new sidewalk will be constructed from that crossing down to Central Park. So we will finally connect Central Park in the library with easy access and a sidewalk to the senior center, the food pantry and recreation. So we're looking forward to that. It's something that was in our long range plans, uh, but with the work we're doing on First Parish, we're gonna be able to get that done a little bit easier so that residents and people going from Central Park area won't have to cross Beaver Dam, then First Parish, then Cudworth to walk back up to the Senior Center. They'll be able to cross directly across from the Senior Center right at the top of the hill. So there will be plenty of sight lines for people crossing and for vehicles. So uh, the other word of caution that I would give to people, once we put that base coat down, I've already spoken to Chief Thompson, uh, we will be doing intensive traffic enforcement in the area of the Senior Center. Uh, invariably, new pavement means higher speeds. So when the base coat goes down, when the top coat goes down, we will be running right out and doing enforcement in that area to keep people from uh, really increasing their speeds by that uh, senior center, by recreation, and by those fields. So a word of wise, word of uh, caution to the wise. Uh, once that pavement goes down, you're going to want to slow down up there because we will be doing traffic enforcement. Steve Rink renovations are ongoing. Uh, they're working on the base now. The, they should have the contractor in shortly to do the paving. Again, once the paving goes down, that paving sits for a couple weeks. While all the oils come out, once that's done, they will put a finish on it. It is scheduled to be done after the start of school, but the majority of the heavy work will be done before the students are back in class. Uh, Widow's Walk Clubhouse, if you go by, you'll see that it's framed in. That is the extent of what the building will be. They'll start working on getting the roof down, the windows in, but the actual building sides and pop around so you can see what that new building's gonna look like. The contractor also did the base coat for the parking lot. You can see what the parking lot's gonna look like. The final coat will not be done until the project is just about complete. We'll do that at the end of the fall. So uh, you can start to, see what the, start to see what the golf course is gonna look like, what the clubhouse is gonna look like. It's coming along. We are still on budget. We are still on time, so we'll keep an eye on that. Our other construction project right now going on is the Hummer Rock Fire Station. Uh, if you go by, you'll see the footings are in. The sides, it's a kind of a modular construction. The sides of the building are expected to come in this week. And the actual construction of those buildings will start. That is, again, scheduled to be completed in the fall. We are on schedule for that. We need to get that done before the really cold weather comes uh, so we can get the truck back inside on the cover because right now it's in a tent up on the fourth cliff. So... Uh, you keep an eye on that, but you will start seeing some real progress, I think, this week and next week on the actual construction of the buildings down at the Humrock Fire Station. And that's what I have for today. I'm sorry, one more thing. Uh, Heritage Days was this weekend. Uh, I was down there yesterday. I was down there Saturday. It was absolutely packed. I think everybody's happy with the way Heritage Days went. People got out. People had a good time. Uh, I know the Chamber has talked about it. It's one of the most crowded ones they've had in history. So thank you to everybody from the Chamber, all the volunteers. Police, fire, DPW, Hopper Master, and everybody else uh, who made Heritage Days this year a very, very good success. So thank you for that. Great. Well, thank you very much, everyone. I hope you can uh, support local business, find a, a business in town you haven't been to in a while and, and give them your support. That would be great. And uh, also, you're our uh, eyes and ears uh, for the select board out there. So please send us an email, anything you're seeing around town. Love to hear from you. So um, go to the Go to the town's website and please send us an email anything good bad or the ugly would be great so um everyone have a great week